Well, hello and welcome to Vloon, day 26. I'm in another parking lot, as usual, but this is a very special parking lot. I'm in the parking lot of my beloved Dragon House. I will leave their like Facebook page below for you guys. Unfortunately, they are closing. I think it's next week. Yeah, next Saturday is their last day of operation. So I highly encourage anybody that is local in Minneapolis, St. Paul area to come and check this place out. It is so good. But unfortunately, after like, I don't know, like 45 years or something ridiculous, they are closing. It's a family owned business and really no one else in the family wanted the business. It just like wasn't where their passion was. So anyway, they did sell to another restaurant, but it's not gonna be a Chinese restaurant. And they didn't sell the business as a part of it, they just sold the real estate. So they're just, you know, getting rid of like their equipment and things like that. And I believe that they close um, at the end of July, but you know, they need a couple of weeks to like get everything, you know, handled. It's a little bit early. I'm here at about 3.30 and my brother and my mom and dad are coming and I haven't seen my brother since like, when have I seen him last? I think maybe Christmas? Was that when I saw him last? I think that's when I saw him last. He has been in Kentucky, no, he's living in Kentucky, but for the past, what was it, 10 weeks or something, he was at some specialized military training in Georgia. I think he was just north of Atlanta, if I remember right. I, don't, I can't keep track of him, you know? He's just all over the place all the time. But he has a civilian job, but he trains the military for part of that civilian job. And then he also is in the national, like in the Army National Guard. So it's very confusing. He has a military life and he also has a civilian life, but his civilian life is part of the military. It's confusing. He has um, two weekends where he'll be here. So he's here, he flew in yesterday and stayed with a friend and I think he's staying at my parents' place um, tonight, tomorrow and Wednesday. So I think we're gonna go see the townhouse tonight and we actually have some filming to do together. Um, we're gonna do fun video, which will be out next week, I wanna say. I don't wanna divulge what it is because obviously you guys are gonna see this in like kind of realish time. So I don't wanna divulge what it is. My, br my brother is going to be a guest star in one of my like formal sit down videos. So um, you guys seem to really like it when we did it before. And I think we did it before as part of um, one of my vlogging series. I think it was, yeah, it was at Christmas time. So it was Vlogmas. We did like a favorite bro and sis Q&A and you guys seem to really like that. So it was just kind of funny. People wanted to like know more about my favorite brother. But I know this vlog is gonna go up tomorrow. So if you have any questions for my favorite brother, let me know and I'll either answer them or maybe I can get him on camera to answer a couple of questions for you guys in the next vlog. But anyway, I am gonna go inside. I will show you guys around a little bit in here. I don't think I've ever really done that before, but um, I'll show you guys around a little bit um, as to like what's going on and I'll make sure to show the food because I'm actually gonna be back here on Thursday with my friend Amanda and I think her daughter's coming with too um, on Thursday but uh, you know this is like my last hurrah you guys like this is the last time I'm ever gonna get this food which is like so sad and I'm 36 years old and I've been going here for 36 years if that tells you anything and I'm pretty sure when my mom was pregnant with me, she had several meals here, I'm pretty sure. I've had tons of birthdays and celebrations in here, so uh, it's just kind of bittersweet that this is all ending in like two weeks. But anyway, well let's go inside and I'll show you guys around. Here's where I got, it's the pork lo mein, no onions. I don't like the onions, they're like these long stringy things, not my style, but that's all right. Obviously, rice has to be in a separate container. Phil got the Dragon House fried rice with his epic shirt. Are you excited? The wolf spirit is about to take this down. <laughs> You could do it and then mom, what did you get? Shrimp and broccoli? Shrimp and broccoli. Ooh. Nice and healthy. Yes. <laughs> All right, so we're going to dig in. My dad actually got the same thing, but his isn't ready. But they, he's dropped, been, they dropped his on yeah, the floor, so I think, putting it back on the I think he's been sassing the staff for a little too long. <laughs> All right, so I am at the townhouse. The favorite brother is with me. And guess what? I've got Wi-Fi. Look at that. So exciting. All right. Let's go see if we can find the brother. So what do you think? I think it's 
got some work to do. <laughs> well, a little bit. Some, some work is Look at our done. floors. <laughs> and in about a week, it should be habited. Habited? Yes. Inhabited? I think it's inhabited. <laughs> inhabited I by, don't know. by humans. Fun fact. The flooring company actually called me on my way home today. They are gonna be coming tomorrow, which is Tuesday. They were supposed to come on Wednesday, so that's actually really nice. They're gonna be here between like nine and 10 tomorrow, but my mom was planning on being here tomorrow anyway to do some things, so they need a full day of prep on these floors anyway because the carpet is not gonna be level with everything else, which is fine, but they just need to find those spots and like fill them or whatever. They are gonna let me know tomorrow how many days this will take, um, the guy that I talked to on the phone said hopefully Thursday they'll be done, maybe Friday, just depending, but I'll give you guys updates as we go along. Also, another really interesting fact about Lowe's and this whole debacle, they were set to deliver um, the three remaining floorboards today, and before they even left, they had grabbed, or actually, they had left, and they grabbed the three wrong SKUs again. So the manager guy that said he was gonna go pull them himself didn't actually go pull them himself. So they actually sent this store manager to come all the way up here. Hi, Phil. <laughs> to come all the way up here to deliver the three floorboards. And I will let you know a resolution. Um, I had this like really big pallet in the garage that were left from those 12 foot uh, floorboards. And my mom kept telling, you know, the person that she was talking to with the deliveries, like, hey, I need someone to take this. We don't have enough room for this. You know, we can't throw it away in the trash. Someone needs to take this with them. It's like, yeah, no problem. Well, then the store manager comes and his truck wasn't big enough to house it. So he actually grabbed my hammer and ended up bending the hammer pretty badly. <laughs> so he said, yeah, I'm gonna owe you a hammer. He's like, plus I'm gonna talk to uh, the guy in deliveries about what's been going on. Cause I was kind of just telling him what was happening. And he's like, well, it's so weird. I haven't heard anything about it, but you know, we've been very nice about it. So anyway, the resolution was they contacted my mom because she's been like the main contact, even though I paid for it all. But um, I haven't been here to accept any of the deliveries. But the resolution was they're gonna give me $250 back, essentially on my mom's credit card because I paid cash for it and then I gave my mom the cash and then she got her points for her card or whatever. That is the resolution on all of the big debacles of things. So. I'm satisfied with that, that's fine. And then um, I believe that he is gonna be mailing me a new hammer as well, cause he kind of jacked mine up. So yeah, that's the resolution. I'm happy with the resolution. The flooring company is coming a day early, which is great. And the flooring company has nothing to do with Lowe's at all. Like they're two totally separate entities. But yeah, so tomorrow I will come back here. I'm gonna do some painting upstairs. And then my brother and I over there, we are gonna be shooting a video tomorrow when I get home from work, so he'll probably be around at that time. We'll shoot a quick video, and um, then I'm gonna paint, so yeah. But it's the last little bit that has to be done in the white that's up there, upstairs, and then let it dry, and then we're done until moving day. Um, there's a few little touch-ups that need to be done, but those things can be done like after I move in. So I think I'm gonna take a roll of washi tape and um, mark some little spots. And I think my mom's just gonna touch up some stuff as she is over here, because the flooring company said that she wouldn't be in their way if she wanted to be kind of like up and down the stairs and stuff, that it would be fine. So anyway, we're gonna head back to my parents' house. My brother's staying the night. Are you so, so excited to stay the night, Phil? Woohoo! Woohoo! And by the way, I gotta show off your shirt. Look at this epic shirt. Look at that. I mean, where Wolf did- spirit. Where did you get that shirt? Amazon. It's tie-dyed also, see? Oh my gosh. It's colored. It has the wolf spirit not just printed on it, but embedded within the fibers. Wow. The wolf spirit. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. I feel awesome. like I'm on, I'm on the prowl. Oh. Uh, Okay, well we're gonna head back now and I will check in with you guys soon. So my mom just got here and um, I was just pulling out as she was pulling in. Do you want to know why I moved this stuff? The flooring company's coming tomorrow. Oh. No, it's fine. Yeah, but I have to paint those. No, that's okay. They're gonna do the whole day of prep. So they're not gonna need those floorboards until the very, very end anyways. Oh, okay. And I told them the toilet wasn't removed and they said that's fine. Oh. They said if you want to remove it tomorrow night, not a problem. Oh, all right. So they're like, we need a full day of prep anyway. So I'm gonna close out the vlog here. The favorite brother is over there on the computer doing 
secret, secret, secret things. Right, Phil? Shh. Shh. Don't tell anybody. Hi, Doyle. Doyle challenge accepted. Hi, bud. What have you been doing all day? Been licking your paws? Sitting on stuff. Sitting on the things, licking the paws. That's what he's been doing. You got a rough little life there, bud. Yeah. But anyway, I think I'm gonna go and edit this footage. I think that's what's gonna happen. But I will see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow is, what, Tuesday? Tuesday. So there is going to be some updates in the townhouse tomorrow, and then I'm gonna paint a little bit when I get back from work, and then my brother and I are gonna film a video too. So um, tomorrow night's gonna be kind of jam-packed, and I'm gonna be able to show you some of it, but not all of it, because I'm not gonna like show you the video, because that'd be no fun. Doyle and I are gonna go. Right, Doyle? You never say anything in these videos. Don't you ever say anything? What's a puppy say? What's a puppy say? Huh? What's a puppy say? Oh, okay. Well, at least he said something. All right, well, I'm gonna go for now. Hope you guys are enjoying Vloon, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.